Hi there, this is Patrick at StopSprayingUs.com on uh, Sunday, October 22nd, 2017. And uh, yesterday the entire East Coast was nailed. And um, let's have a look at Oklahoma. Uh, you can see there's a lot of electromagnetic activity here. Uh, these ripples all over the place, uh, which is nothing new. You see these all over the place all the time. It's, it's global. Um, but you notice there are um, there's quite a bit of activity here. So why am I looking here? Well, on NASA Sport, I found this animation in Oklahoma. Uh, the Oklahoma City is over here, and these are giant upswellings of a water vapor condensed. Um, what's the heat source under here? I mean, it looks like this, this giant plumes that are just coming up. They're just huge. Um, if you look over here, you see these ripples? Could these be radio waves directed at these uh, air masses to heat them up. Uh, well, we know microwaves do heat up water. And when you have metals inside the air mass, uh, it works like a fork in a microwave, and uh, you can get an upswell of of water. The, the, air, the air column comes up and it condenses and so on. Um, the, uh, of course, there is the uh, paper, or actually the patent, uh, the Caldera patent, which I referred to multiple times, uh, which is a system for facilitating cloud formation and cloud precipitation using charged particles. This is a radio transmitter, and you can, uh, when you seed the clouds with metals, um, it, it, it can create uh, charged particles that become cloud condensation nuclei, nuclei which uh, then condense and uh, you can get a huge amount of steam. So let's go back to the satellite here. Um, it's, you know, you have, you can see the, um, the less opaque stuff here these are aerosols. Those are normal clouds, which could have been screwed with. Um, and you know, there's a lot of electromagnetic frequencies going on there. So is were these tornadoes formed by the uh, by the electromagnetic frequencies with the um, you know there's you can see, you can see all this stuff here too. Uh, in conjunction with the uh, aerosol uh, nanoparticulate metals that were dumped on top of it. Who knows? And, you know, this is, you know, you can see all, this, all, all ripples here uh, going in different directions, which uh, shows that this is not a gravity wave. This is an interference pattern caused by uh, radio transmitters. And like all this stuff here, this weird, this sort of uh, less opaque, sort of translucent stuff is uh, is aerosol uh, dumped dumped by planes or ground based generators or whatever. So anyway, I'll get you back to the um, the animation. Yes, this is Tornado Alley. I know, you know, you do get tornadoes here, um, but are these being helped? It's a, you know, it's, it's a question worth asking. Um, it does, obviously, these, these, call, these cause uh, damage. For example, here there are... Oh, hang on. This one. Uh, this is a, uh, like, roof torn off in, uh, a, in Norman, Oklahoma, yesterday. Um, so, yeah, this stuff, you know isn't good. So anyway, I just thought I'd add that. So um, actually, while, while we're here, let's have a look around and see what else is going on. Uh, so this is 21st, go to the 22nd. 
more crap. Translucent stuff means it is being sprayed. Um, a little bit. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh, here. Gulf of St. Lawrence. Interference pattern. Um, aerosols are plenty on the East Coast. This is pretty nasty. I mean, they chose this weekend, which is the um, this new disaster movie, uh, Geostorm, comes out. Uh, it's got terrible reviews, but I'm going to uh, bite the bullet and actually go and watch it to give you a review. That'll be coming soon. Um, yeah, this isn't natural. It is pretty freaking nasty. Uh, weather made to order by the scumbags. So, anyway. Alright, let's have a look over. Let's have a look around. What the hell? Okay, uh, lots of sharp edges. Interference patterns. England. <laughs> England, Scotland and Wales. Completely zapped. You know that that's a, that's a massive amount of electromagnetic frequencies going through through there. Uh, let's have a look over. And oh, there's a um, there's a typhoon going through Japan as well right now, just south of Japan. And Fake. <laughs> you can see the you can see the um, the influence of aerosols and electromagnetic frequencies here. You can see a. Uh, actually, we'll zoom in to this point. These. This is a longer wavelength. And you can see a shorter wavelength here, these small ones. There's uh, smaller ones here. And actually, if you come in closer, very small ones here. Small wavelength, which is high frequency. And again, if you need to figure out what the, uh, the wavelength of uh, these pulses are, you, just, uh, you can work it out from the distance between the, the peaks here. Yeah, lots of wispy crud. Alright. Okay, so that is the... Uh, I think it's uh, Typhoon Tam, maybe? Yeah, you can see the wispy stuff here as well, which is translucent. Um, White bits are actual uh, water. This is something else. Australia always has some shenanigans. Let's have a look down in Australia. Uh, oh, yeah, over here. <laughs> Very screwy. And actually, this piece here. Almost looks like modern art to me. Completely manufactured, sharp edges, uh, uniform popcorn clouds. And general shenanigans. Okay, so there's that.
And you see multiple frequencies going through here. Ripples here going that direction. Ripples hit here, lo longer wavelength going that direction. And also uh, up on the in Western Australia, there is a radar installation right here. Let's have a look at uh, at, at Axmouth. And um, there you have an interference pattern again. Or radio frequencies used in conjunction with the aerosols. Um, there's a big chem bomb right there. With wispy crud coming off it. Fresh trails. Yeah. I'm not sure why they're targeting Australia so heavily. But they're getting it pretty bad. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Anyhow, that's uh, a quick glance around. Uh, let's have a look at uh, South America. Why not? While we're here, not natural ripples, translucent crud. Wispy crap. And apologies for the non scientific terms. This is all covert. None of it is admitted, so we have to use our own language. Yeah, you can see there's like wispy crap here. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that's uh, that is the globe today, uh, October twenty second, twenty seventeen. So yeah, that's all for now. And um, yeah. By the way, again, this is uh, NASA Worldview. The address is worldview.earthdata.nasa.gov. And uh, you can find me at uh, stopspraying.us.com. And uh, bye for now.